We need to stop him. Shadow be damned. The guards are getting closer. They're not we'll far behind us. I draw the line at licking the plate clean. I'm hungry for red meat, but I'm not a dog. I feel a kinship with that lonely flickering flame. Where's the key? Someone get the gods down. Don't keys. get all uh, depressed on me there, boy. We don't have much time. I have no time to spare and no desire to let all these prisoners loose. I know we don't have much time, but I do have to find some items. The only thing I got is a napkin at this point, so please hold your horses. And I wasn't even aiming for the plate just now. I I wanted to get the fork that's on there. Seems like something you could pick a lock with. These torches burn day and night. There's no other light in this accursed place. There's no way through here. I'm gonna recheck if I can actually get that plate. These torches burn day and night. There's no other light Where's in this key? accursed place. Someone get the goddamn keys! I see someone moving. Fire! The prisoners are revolting! And they smell bad too! Shadow, they're firing at us. It's some sort of food elevation device. As though walking a few flights of stairs is too much work. Aha. Uh -huh. Where's the key? They use this Someone contraption to transport keys. food from the kitchens below. <laughs> the chain goes up to the mechanism that raises and lowers the cage. It's covered in thick oil. It's covered in thick oil. Ah, I can't get a good grip on it with all that oil. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I managed to wipe off a tiny bit of oil, but it won't make much of a difference. I still can't climb the chain. On the positive side, I now have an oily cloth. Perhaps the oil can be burned off. I knew a Chandler once. He didn't burn his candle at both ends. Laziest man I ever met. A candle loses nothing by lighting another. It's sticky with oil. Where's the key? Someone get the goddamn Shadow. keys! I need a stronger flame to light this torch. I'd burn my skin off if I tried to wrench it free. I'm curious to see where this is going. Likewise, I'm just winging it at this point, old man, so bear with me, please. Where's the key? Oh, clever Someone boy. Get the I knew you were going to disappoint me. Still warm, but it's cooling quickly. You first. If that chain's still hot, I want some warning. I should be able to climb the chain now. the sword for you. A warrior's death. What are we doing here? Where's our cloud ship? We need to buy ourselves some time. Quick. Block that gate. Use the lever to lower the bar. Quickly now. As you say, old man. Now arm yourself. A sharp blade used by the headsman. There's a sword over there. Come over here now! By the Mojas bloated testing, stop fucking about and get How will we escape? I thought you'd have a ship waiting. A ship? <laughs> no, boy. Your way out of here is not on a cloud ship, but through a portal created by the very magic your people are trying to stamp out. My way. Only one of us can pass through that portal before it closes. And it requires a sacrifice. 
It's dark magic. It requires blood and pain. It requires a life. What? No. No! I cannot accept your sacrifice. Either both of us leave or neither. Don't be a mojo, damned fool, boy. I have made my peace with the gods. And you say the same. Besides, I may be a decent fighter, but you... Without you, the resistance will falter, and the Azadi will be victorious. Now run me through with that sword so that you can get out of here and start paying your debts. Oh no. Th I was about to say, I'm not going to kill the guy. No. I... cannot. I'm not worthy of such a sacrifice. Listen to me, boy. If you don't do this, then it's all for naught. The whole bloody thing. There's been too much death. Too much! Oh, for the love of the four heavens. That bloody stings. from the city walls into the shallows. The body was never found. For the longest time, I could climb those walls, balance on the edge, and close my eyes. I always thought I would join her in the darkness, in that cold, cold sea. I never did. Goddess, damn him to the Shadow Eternal! What? Kian. Kian has escaped the keep. Leave us. Now! What are you saying? That's impossible. He's supposed to die. He's gone. Fled from the roof with the help of a rebel infiltrator and a bloody riot. The roof? But how? A portal. Dark magic. That's impossible. I must interrogate the men who let him escape. They will rue this day for the rest of their short and miserable lives. And that bone-headed warden, he will pay for this with his life. I don't understand. Friar's Keep is warded against Thaumaturgy. Inside, yes, which is why they fled to the roof. My protectors, do you have any idea where he is? With the rebels, I'm sure. Wherever they've holed up. I will leave no stone unturned to find them. In their hands, Alvane is a poisonous dagger. You think I'm not aware? You think I don't know how dangerous he is? I know that traitor better than anyone, but I will find him. Him and his cohorts. Under the sight of the goddess, this I swear. Before the first arrives. It won't reach her ears. You make sure of that. If she learns their precious apostle is still alive, she will want him alive so that she can speak to him. And if she learns the truth... We won't give her the opportunity. Good. Because if she ever does, you and I will be paying with our lives. What in the light are you waiting for? You won't catch him in here, Commander! Go! Take care of this! Goddess, watch it.
It's our three months anniversary today. That's mad. I feel like I've been coming here for years. <laughs> How are you? It's his job to know how I'm doing. He knows me better than anyone. Why does he have to ask? Honestly, I don't have an answer. But that's probably not what he wants to hear. He wants to know that what he's doing is helping. He's probably expecting me to say I feel better. It's been three months. That is some sort of milestone, I guess. Maybe I do feel better. Honestly, yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm glad you feel that way, Zoe. We've come a long way. We still have a long way to go, but admitting to yourself that things are getting better, that's a big step in the right direction. All right. As for your memories, maybe you will remember everything. Maybe you won't. But you want to remember what happened to you before the coma. That's the most important thing. Okay. Do you agree with that, Zoe? And potentially lose everything I've built here? I, I guess it's a risk I'll have to take. I know there's something I need to remember, something I'm supposed to be doing. It's always at the back of my mind. Until I figure that out, I can't find peace. And potentially lose everything I've built here? I, I'm not sure that's a risk I want to take. I feel there's something I need to remember, something, something I need to do. But if it comes back to me, what will happen to my life? I'm not sure I can take losing everything all over again. And I do. I can't stand feeling there's something I need to remember. But you don't remember what it is. I have no idea. So I have to find out. I understand, okay. Let's see if we can do an exercise. Jog your memory. What is the last thing you do remember? Going back a year and a half before it all started. It's all a bit hazy, to be honest. It's like my memory loss is eating away at the edges, growing bigger. It's vague, like a dream. But I do remember some things. Fragments. I remember some of it. What do you remember? Razor vanishing. Me going after him, trying to track him down. I ended up in Newport. I have memories of sneaking into a house filled with drug addicts. It's, it's like remembering a movie where I'm the star. Doing things that feel completely foreign to me. It doesn't even feel like I did those things. It's almost like I was, like I was just an observer. I remember being in a safe place and connecting to a dream machine, but that's where it ends. And before that? Before leaving Casablanca? Dad was going away. I was throwing a party. Then Reza asked me to pick up a package. That's what set it all in motion. That and the static. And do you remember what that turned out to be? After I woke up, they filled in the blanks. Apparently it was some sort of glitch Virus, rogue code infecting the World Wide Wire. Someone at Watercorp was using the dream machine to read people's minds. Someone I'd met. Kavanagh. Damien Kavanagh. That's right. The man behind it all, the perpetrator of the conspiracy. He'd put some sort of worm into the code, turning the dream machine into a mind controlling tool affecting millions. At least that's. that's what they say. He recorded a confession before he... Yeah, he didn't want to rot away in a jail for the rest of his life, but at least he came clean. Absolved his employer of any wrongdoing. Convenient. In what way? Oh, forget it. I don't remember any of it. All I know is they poisoned my mind. Inserted false memories. Nothing I saw or experienced was real. The little girl on the screens, the other... The other world. Arcadia. Another colourful figment of their imagination. A synthetic dream. And you still remember nothing of going to Japan? Breaking into Watikorp? Nope. 
I exposed a global conspiracy and all they gave me was a lousy coma. Aside from you, Reza and my dad, no one even knows I was involved. Reza kept me out of his expose, and even he doesn't know what really happened during the week I was gone. Maybe my friend Olivia knew something, but she passed away. An accident. Right. An accident. So they say. In light of everything, it felt very convenient again. You feel responsible. I went off playing teen detective and people got hurt. A lot more people might have got hurt if you hadn't. Who knows, Dr. Zelenka? I don't, and that's the problem. I don't know what happened, what I did, or what... You're worried something else happened to you. I mean, it's a week of my life. Gone. That's what I'm here for. To help you through that. Whether you remember or not, it's a lot for one person to process on their own. Have you used a dream machine yet? God, no. I feel nauseous just watching the ads. <laughs> They're everywhere. You can't avoid them forever. I don't see one here. Well, I have one at home. I don't use it. Because of me? No. Well, not just that. They are addictive. And while I'm sure they're perfectly harmless entertainment, I worry about the long-term effects. It's becoming a disease, an addiction. I'm concerned about what these lucid, perfect dreams are doing to us. And you were connected to a prototype. There's no way to predict how that may have affected you. I'm sure they're mostly safe, but there's not enough data. I'm very concerned about the effects over time, until I know more. But maybe you should, to get over your fear. You tell me you're worried about the long-term consequences of the Dream Machine, and then you suggest I try it. You're right. I probably should, but... I'll think about it. Think about it. Have you spoken with Gabrielle yet? No, I'm... I'm not ready to discuss my dad. We don't talk. He rented out the house, moved to Mumbai. You don't think you need to talk to him about it? I wanted to be just like him. That's why I went into pioneering, but... I decided to drop my pioneering degree so that I could avoid thinking about him and what he was a part of, so... No, no, I don't. Well... <sighs> Fuck, sorry. Of course I do. Maybe. Someday. That's perfectly fine. What do you want to talk about? Is the new series of Eurotrash a valid topic? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Our time is almost up. That's fine. I'm working today. How's that going? Really good. I enjoy it. A lot. I'm glad to hear that. You weren't so sure a month ago. I'm learning a lot. Neural programming, artificial intelligence. It helps me feel closer to live. Olivia, you know? Honoring her memory. Not in a self-sacrificing way. I, I want to do this. I like working with Mira and Wit. For now. And with the voluntary campaign work, I feel I contribute in other ways, too. You're keeping yourself busy and motivated. You've come a long way since we first met. I was a real fucking wreck. I'm not going to disagree with that, but you've come a long way. Thank you, Dr. Zelenka. A Roman, uh, please. <laughs> Same time next week? Definitely. Thanks, Doc. Roman. Roman. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Now we're all the way in the future. What the hell? But yeah, I've been at it for almost two hours. So before I explore the rest of this, I'm gonna call it here. So, hope you enjoyed. And let me know what you think of the story. And take care. <laughs>